I'm going to be honest with you. I've found Legends to be one of the most frustrating parts since moving over to ArcGIS Pro. This has been the biggest adjustment I've had to make, but I can give you some tips that can help you customize your Legends exactly the way you need it. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro. I have a bunch of layers in my map. For instance, I have airports, seaports, roads, parks, and a crime rate heat map. So I have vector points, lines, and polygons. And I also have a raster layer for my heat map. If I want to add a legend to my map, I can click on the Insert tab and select the Legend button. Before you add a legend, remember that you have to select all the layers that you want to appear in your legend. So in my example, I am going to select all the layers in my table of contents. Now, I can either click on my map or drag and hold my mouse in my map. As you can see, I've added a legend in my layout. The first thing you have to know is how to add and remove items in your legends because this is extremely different from ArcMap. In your table of contents, you'll find a legend grouping. If you expand this group, you'll see all the items in your legend. If you want to remove anything from your legend, simply uncheck it. Like this. You can also right-click any item in your legend and select Remove. If you want to add an item to your legend, just drag it into your legend group. This is extremely different from ArcMap. Frankly, it takes some time to get used to it, and it can be difficult to do if you have a lot of elements in your table of contents. I don't think that I really like this about ArcGIS Pro. Anyways, you know how to add and remove items in your legend. So, how do you customize your legend? Just right-click your legend and select Properties. A panel will pop up on the right. But what you have to remember is that there are two levels to customize. First, there is the legend level. So if I click the top level legend in my table of contents, you can change the major characteristics of your legend. Secondly, there is the legend item level. I can select one by one, or I can select them all as a whole which will make adjustments to all legend items collectively. So let's start with the legend level. I'm going to click the top level group in the table of contents. Here's where you can change the legend title. You can also click here to change the legend item properties like I was talking about before. There's also an option for how the legend synchronizes with the map. For example, if you add a new layer to the map, if this is selected, then it will add it to the legend as well. Something important here is that you can use the dropdown to update individual parts of your legend. For example, if I want to update the legend title, then I can click the dropdown. From here, I can select title and update the font size and style. But the big one you're going to want to pay the most attention to is the legend arrangement options. So click the second tab. I don't know how, but I think this is where ArcGIS Pro fails the worst without any good options. But here's what I still pick. In my maps, I tend to use a single column. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to select the Adjust Frame option. Then, I'm going to select the columns as one. The best part about this option is that it will always keep on adding items to my legend when I add new ones to my map canvas. But the only thing is that I can't resize the legend manually. Instead, I have to change the font size. So to change the font size, just highlight all the items in your legend. Then click on Text Symbol and select a size of your choosing. Finally, click Apply. So how do I change the spacing for this option? Just click on the top level legend group. Then, go to the spacing. They're kind of hiding in here. If you change the spacing for the items, it will give some padding between each legend item. All right, so I think this looks pretty good already. Let's say you've been following this tutorial and things still don't look how you want them to be. As a last resort, it's possible to right click your legend and convert it to graphics. Here I'll just show you how to do that. Just right click your legend and select Convert to Graphics. When you do this, you have the ultimate flexibility to edit your legend in any way. I also suggest ungrouping all your elements. You can do this by right-clicking again and choosing Ungroup. 
but the downside about converting your legend to a graphic is that it won't update automatically if you add anything to your legend. Well, that's about it from me. Today, I've shown you how to create and customize legends in ArcGIS Pro. What do you think about legends in ArcGIS Pro? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section, and I'll see you next time.